Hello and welcome back to the last part of my Let's Play Dragon Age Origins The Origins where I play the background story and starting area of each race and class and I base it on the concept art um, that was released before Dragon Age Origins came out uh, <clears throat> so this is the mage origin and according to the concept art she is a female, she's elf, and of course, uh, magi origin. Wielding a power as dangerous as it is potent, you know that magic is a curse for those lacking the will to control it. You anxiously await your harrowing, the one chance to prove yourself against the demons lurking without and within. Succeed or be slaughtered by the knights who warred against your kind. Greetings. So, uh, I'm going to make her look as much as possible as a concept art, and I'm really, really bad at creating uh, uh, characters. I usually use mods, uh, but I'll pause here and I'll be back soon. All right, so I'm back, and this is, I think, the best I could do when it comes to looking like the hair and uh, her makeup and uh, facial features. Um, so I'm going to choose a voice and since I'll be role-playing this uh, I'd like for her to be um, naive but kind of pushy over so I'd like to have give her um, a little bit of a childish voice maybe greetings and this is nice no it's gone my weapon does nothing but how do you do? Right. Casting. Focus. This might work. Hmm. New weapon. Scoot. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. And... Greetings. Blast it. I have lost the spell. It is unharmed. I must get by. No. Charmed. I lost the spell. Well, no. This does nothing. Hmm. Okay, so this... Even if it says sultry. Shoo! Farewell. <laughs> yeah, it's it's giggly and youngish. Oh, please do rethink that. Yeah. <laughs> Greetings. No. Ugh, my spell. No. Nope. Charmed. I'm gonna go with sultry. Um, so her name is Neria, and her last name is Serana. And so let's give her some points. And let's uh, give her cunning 12 and magic 19. Uh, oh, I have two more. Um, well, there we go. And um, I'm going to put her points in coercion. This needs level 4, right? There we go, and um, which actually means I don't have to give her more cunning right now. I can make her super powerful at once. Well, not super powerful, but there we go. And uh, so she has one offensive spell, and I want her to have more offensive spells. Uh, I cannot go by without mind blasts. Uh, I always grab this first thing I do, so I have one more spell. And I think sh this character is not going to be healer, she's going to be um, a force to reckon with. So, um, well, Winter's Grasp. It's an instant spell, and it's just super. Yeah, I think we're ready to play. On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhad stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. 
The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinta Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the Dream Realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon armed with only your will. Um, uh, as a mage who's grown up here since young at a young age, I know there is no other option except being uh, tranquilized. Um, and um, so um, I am ready, though I'm scared. But I'm going to ask what happens if I cannot defeat the demon. It will turn you into an abomination, and the Templars will be forced to slay you. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you, and remember the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The Apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. origin uh, throws you straight into battle. Um, it also happens with the Dalis, Dalish um, elves. Um, you can choose to battle there, but this you have no choice. Yeah. So, as you desire, I'm gonna grab that shimmering orb of light. I'm also going to uh, cheat and use the uh, Sash of Forbidden Secrets. And uh, by the way, this character, um, this Sash has improves blood magic. I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, how I see her. I don't think I'm gonna use this. Maybe I will. Um, she, uh, when young, she grew up in an alien age and so um, never had uh, freedom and therefore uh, she does not really like humans uh, at least not humans who do not have magic and she's also a, she feels like she's been in a prison all her life and um, yeah pick up some lore and extra points And let's do this. No. <laughs> well, all right. There we go. So she would eventually become a blood mage uh, because she would see it as a means to an end. Dear me, what a mess! And I don't think she'd. Uh, she's not evil by nature, uh, but she thinks that uh, she would believe that the Circle Tower has everything, uh, the Chantry and uh, keeping mages in the Circle Tower uh, is the wrong way to go about things. And um, 
Especially when she meets Morrigan. Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. No, it isn't right at all. But they keep doing it, don't they? We get treated like rabid dogs and we let them get away with it. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well... Mouse. You took the harrowing? It's fuzzy, that time before. They wake you up in the middle of the night and drag you to the harrowing chamber. And then... The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. How long do I have exactly? I... I don't remember. I ran away and I hid. I don't know how long. Hmm, what am I supposed to do? There's something here, contained, just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you, a tease for the creatures of the Fade. Um, why pit me against such creature? A question for those in the tower. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to ask. Maybe someday, so will I. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago. But you, you may have a way out. So, um... A dangerous spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. So now he's a little mouse. It is dangerous to be out in the open like this. Not that hiding helps much in the Fade. How have you survived here so long? I missed my chance. So I became small. Unnoticeable. I hide from the bigger things, learn from the smaller things. There are places you can hide where the shadows go on forever. You stay there long enough, and the shadows begin to creep inside of you. I... I don't know how long it's been. Forever, maybe. Why make us face a spirit or demon in the harrowing, for the harrowing? Because they're sadistic bastards, that's why. And I'm not talking about demons. Everyone must face the harrowing because there's a small chance a mage might become possessed and become an abomination. Thrown to the mercy of a demon when you're at your weakest. For the safety of all. They teach that abominations are extremely dangerous. But how many mages have met their fate in tests like this over the centuries? Don't those lives matter as well? It's either that or they turn you into a freak. A tranquil who can't be possessed, but who also can't feel anything. Ever. The Circle is a prison. You have choices between joining and suffering various deaths of body or spirit. Remember that. Mm. Let's keep moving. I'm ready if you are. So there are two different types of creatures in the Fade. Well, there's more than that. But um, there are demons and there are spirits. And the spirits don't really care about men um, that much. And they can be dangerous, of course. Um, they don't think like humans. And then there are the demons who actually uh, are really interested in humans and human lives and uh, would like to cross the veil and therefore would like to possess a mage. Um, 
And also another thing I want to point out here is that uh, the harrowing, as I understand it, uh, is actually um, a kind of ritual where the mages and templars make a deal with the demon to test the mage's uh, power to be able to withstand, um, to uh, not fall for its tricks and uh, and so on. Uh, anyway, what I was saying before was that... That is where the test will take place. The creature can be anywhere, but it manifests there. I was talking about Mar again, so as when we meet, when um, my character meets Morrigan, um, she will be very, very uh, inspired by the possibility to be a mage and still be free uh, from the circle. Her highest desire is to just be able to leave the circle. As you desire. Another spirit this way. It never seemed. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. Um, I'm not going to go fight each other. We're not warriors because I believe that the mages in the Circle Tower are actually trained to become weapons, so at least uh, some of them are, uh, the ones who aren't um, studying or healers, etc. Um, um, you know why I'm here. You are not the first sent here for such testing, nor shall you be the last, I suspect. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. Um, what kind of spirit are you? I am Balor, a warrior spirit. I hold my weapons in search of the perfect expression of combat. What else do you know about the harrowing? Is that what your test is called? I know little of your mortal ways. I do know that a demon has been called, and told that a meal awaits. It will not, cannot leave. Until one of you is dead. Mm, okay, so it will not or cannot leave. Uh, is it because it made a deal or because they chained the demon during the har harrowing? Um, I do think it's it's. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, did you create all these weapons? They are brought into being by my will. I understand that in your world, mages are the only ones who can will things into being. Those mortals who cannot must lead such hollow, empty lives. Would one of these weapons affect the demon? Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle, and my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. I don't have a lot of willpower. <laughs> and what are the rules of this duel? If I believe you capable of slaying the demon, I will stop the duel and give you the staff. If I find you unworthy, I will slay you. I trust those rules are simple enough to remember, mortal. Ooh, she's already making deals with demons. This is going to be fantastic. Uh... I agree to your duel, Valor. As you wish, mortal. 
Do you understand the rules I explained to you? Yes, I understand. Our duel begins now. Fight with valor! So, mind blast? Go right now. And run away! <laughs> and... Point to Love spell. Come on. Well, all right. Oh, no. Keep running. Uh. Um, shimmering. Use yourself. Am I stunned? Oh, shit. Um, so stunned. And run away. As you desire. Do I hit him with my hands? Oh, I hit him with my hands. And so I shall. Oops. Almost dead. Mm. I don't Enough. Your strength is sufficient to the task. The staff is yours. Of course it is. Attack! No. Um... Will it stay with me when I leave the fate? I suspect not. Um, so we're done, I hope. We are indeed. May you find glory in all your achievements, mortal. Thank you. New items received. New items. Valor, stuff of valor. There we go. Uh, right. Let's move on. Slap down the safe. Oh, vase of healing. Ha <laughs> ha. And a codex on the back CD. There we go. Going to open the codex up, and you can read them. Oh, poor animals! What are they attack? <laughs> oh well, another bow solemn, is it? It's a fight! How lovely! Oh, now this should be amusing. <laughs> City, you can pause if you want to read, and the harrowing, you can uh, pause it if you want to read, and beyond the veil, spares and demons, you can pause it if you want to read. There we go. And let's move Be on. Be cautious. There is another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but still. Oh, and it's a demon. Hmm. So, you are the mortal, being hunted. And the small one, is he to be a snack for me? Okay. I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you, eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. Nom, nom, nom. Um, what kind of spirit are you? It's a demon. Maybe even more powerful than the one chasing after you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. Uh, why are you called sloth? What are you? I am a spirit of sloth. Yes, a creature of the Fade. Unlike yourself, mortals are ever the visitors here. Still, you serve your function. Only the mortals like yourself are truly annoying. <laughs> mortals like myself? You are aware. A mortal with power 
and will. The sort of creature that some spirits hunger for. I might be inclined for such a meal myself. It would be interesting to see the mortal world through your eyes, live inside your form. But I am disinclined to begin such a struggle. So, you're a demon. As you mortals might term it. But not all demons are demons. Worry about the one hunting you. Um. So, she's a bit cocky, and she'd go ahead and uh, make another pact, maybe. I need help defeating the demon. You have a very nice staff. Why would you need me? Go. Use your weapon, since you have earned it. Uh, be valorous. <laughs> he looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean, teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? Um, You could help me fight the demon. It's true. I am quite powerful in this form. When I wish to be. I welcome the opportunity, if it is my choice. The mages in the tower are quick to volunteer others, as you well know. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear, if you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. Um, you can't just suggest something and then change your mind. I can't. You have so much to learn about the Fade, little mortal. Mouse wants to learn. Teach him. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail. And I will devour you both. The decision is yours. I accept your challenge, Sloth. Truly? Oh. Well, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? Uh, map. Mm -hmm. uh, correct. Uh, let's move on. The second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? My tongue. Yes, your witty tongue. Uh, fair enough. Uh, one more try, shall we? Often will I spin a tail, never will I charge a fee. I'll amuse you an entire eve. But, alas, you won't remember me. What am I? A dream. You are correct. Rather apropos here in the Fade, no? But you've won my challenge, and proven yourself an amusing distraction. So, I shall teach you my form. Now, listen carefully. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels... heavy. Hmm. Close enough. Go, then, and uh, defeat your demon, or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. Here we go. So, slap down the save. And now off to face the demon. And wolves. 
Emma was. Oh, here we go. And there is a spirit of rage. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. If I lose, the Templars will still cut you down. They are welcome to try. So this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. Arrangement. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the Mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Alright, so... You go, and what can you do? Mm. Slam! And I'll Winter's Grasp you. Good! <coughs> Run away! Oh. And then I'll just as you desire. Are you fine? Oh, there are two as well. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. No more! Ah! And I think you need to heal. Lovely. Oh, I think I have some blood on me. You did it! You actually did it! When you came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to... But I never really thought any of you were worthy. Hmm, the ones you betrayed before me, what were their names? What? They were not as promising as you. It was a long time ago. Uh, I don't remember their names. I don't even remember my own name. It's the Fade, and the Templars killing me. Like they tried with you. So, what is it that you think you can get from me? You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. Let you in? Back! Help me back! They killed me, right? Just like all who fail in here, they'll kill you too. Can't you feel the sword at your neck? They believe all magic evil. The 
fade evil. Once you are here, you become what they fear. Yeah, like you. You were you ever really an, an apprentice? What? Yes, of course. I mean, I think I was. Isn't that enough? It should be enough for you. Maybe they are right about you. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. Hello, pride demon. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Are you alright? Say something, please. This is my best friend Joan. We grew up together. Joan? Oh, I'm glad you're alright. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? So he's my best friend. I'm gonna talk to him. Oh, stop pestering me, Joan. <laughs> so much for friendship. I'll leave you alone then. And now you get to move to the nice mage's quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. Um, don't worry so much about it. Easy for you to say. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. What are you talking about? The Tranquil never go through a harrowing. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. They're not going to kill you, Joan. They might not. But the rite of tranquility is just as bad, maybe worse. You've seen the Tranquil around the tower, like a Wayne who runs the stockroom. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just nothing in him. It's like he's dead but still walking. His voice, his eyes are lifeless. Did he choose to become tranquil? He's been made tranquil. I don't know how they do it exactly, but you're cut off from the fate. It takes away your magic abilities, along with your dreams and emotions. I know that they have no emotions, etc. And um, um, <clears throat> so it's really funny that I can only respond to this like if I didn't know this from the beginning. Um, I'm gonna go like, yeah, it's an option for those who fear the harrowing. Yes, but the circle also forces tranquility on those they feel are weak, and sometimes they force it upon apprentices they think might be too dangerous as mages. I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. Uh, what for? He didn't tell me. About the harrowing, I'd guess, but you'd never know with Irving. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Okay. Did you hear anything? Is she alright? Is she awake? Why do you care? Are you best friends now? I'm just curious. That Templar, Cullen, said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. He says she's very talented and very brave. Well, he would, wouldn't he? I just know I'll be terrified when my time comes. Like Wendell was. He throw up every day for the next week just thinking about it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's go find Cullen, by the way. You know? Right. Oh, let's just see if I can pick up some stuff here. It's not really super important since... I'm not really... Oh. The circle is so much nicer than the alienage, isn't it? Yes. <clears throat> it's not really super important that I... start... looting. I'm terrible at spells. You're lucky you're so talented. Oh, thank you. Here we go. Stuff. Woo -hoo. So, let's see... 
Um, princess room, classrooms. Let's take a little look around. Yeah. Did you hear? Hear what? I heard they suspect someone of dabbling in blood magic. Why would anyone do something so stupid? That's a death sentence. That's what I hear anyway. Hmm. Can't talk to you. Hello, I went through my harrowing. How does it feel to be done with the harrowing? Fantastic. Did you hear about the apprentice who disappeared last week? Nope. But that kind of stuff happens now and then, I guess. Of course. Ooh, so many magic stops. You must control the fire with your will. 